Good afternoon. The name of my talk today is Reflect, Don't Accept. So many times when we find ourselves in paradoxes and dealing with things that confuse us or that we get lost in, it's because we forget who we are. We forget our own power, our own guidelines, our own thoughts. I have an image here, and it's just a, a pretty simple illustration of life and facing challenges. There are different ways to look at these hills and mountains that we climb. You fall, you fly, but you get back up and you try again. And something for us all to remember is while you may be standing at what you think is the biggest one, look back at all the other ones you've already climbed. As a child, I was very lucky, very lucky. And I met a woman named Miss Ernestine Moore. And Miss Moore taught us a way to look at the world and to look at problems that really helped us to figure out how can you make it work? How can you engage and how can you make a decision that is the best and the most positive for yourself? She called it the LEA system. L-E-A. L stands for listen. Very simple. But when we listen, are we only listening to the external noises that bombard us, or are we remembering that in that listening process, you also have to listen to yourself, to your heart, to your soul, as you take in this new information, to evaluate, to think about what you've heard, to think about not only what you've heard externally, but what you've heard internally in your mind and in your soul. Does it make sense? Does it fit the problem? Does it fit the solution? Is it something that you can approach or something that you can do to truly evaluate what is going on? And then the last step, to apply. Yeah. To apply. Now, apply doesn't always mean that you use it. You know, we think we apply a band-aid, we apply face cream, we apply for a job, we apply for things. It's a, it's a lovely verb word, an action word. But apply can also mean that you apply something to the trash can. You get rid of it because it's not something that's actually going to benefit you. At a point in my life, I was facing a very big paradox, a very big issue, a very big problem, and trying to think, how do I move forward? What is my next step? And I got called into a meeting with my professor. Great man, I really respected him. I thought a lot about him, and he sat me down, and he said, Kenny, my nickname, I want to talk to you. And I went, okay. And then he began to talk to me and he said, Kenny, you are a big boat and a small pond. And I sat there and I went, okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> you know, can you, can you explain this to me? And, and he went on to explain things. And, his thing was, in order for you to make it in this world, you need to learn to make yourself a little smaller, to make yourself easier to deal with. And I sat there, because I respected him, you know, I sat there and I listened, I thought about what he said. I thought about it, I evaluated it, and then in the middle of the evaluation, I realized that I left out a voice. I left out my voice. I left out my thoughts. And then I looked at my professor and I simply said, good sir, 
I don't know how to be any smaller. And my light's gonna shine whether someone wants to dim it or not. So I guess I just have to be myself. And that is something I encourage everyone to do. When you are in those situations, don't forget yourself, your power, and the things that guide you. Listen to what's being said, but then evaluate it. Reflect upon it. Don't just accept it. I leave you with one more beautiful acronym. Life. Love. Live your life. Love. Love people. Love everyone. Integrity. Walk a road that makes sense for yourself. Frugality. Be frugal in your actions, in your words, and education. Because education is the key to everything. And by connecting life with this layer system, it will help you to make decisions that are the best for you. It will help you to not get lost in the craziness or to not get lost in a situation where you just really don't know what to do. And you can free yourself and maybe step a little higher. Thank you very much for your time.